Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another beautiful video. Only this time, this ain't about no Gucci. This ain't about no Louis Vuitton. This is about Christian Louboutin from Betty. So this is my first pair I have ever got in my life. I just went to the store the other day and uh, oh, it was the store, which one was it? Santa Monica location in California. And yeah, a group of very nice uh, women helped me out uh, picking out shoes, so shouts out to them for decent customer service. They don't suck like Louis Vuitton. Anyway, that's another whole another video. But, but the point is, is that here we are. We got some, what are they called? They are the Yang Louis Flat. So we're in for a real treat today. So this is kind of like a pretty good shoe to have for your first Louis Vuitton. You might as well, you know, go in, go big and go home, homie. So, as you know, comes in a little bag, obviously, because, you know, you can't just carry a box. And it has that signature red on the inside. Not the outside, inside. So, pretty interesting bag, I like that. And the box is your standard affair of box, a little wider, or longer, I don't know how you would say it, than the normal boxes. Well, yeah, maybe they are about the same. Yeah, a little different. Louis, uh, Louis Vuitton box, still second to none, as it being like an actual like shelf or whatever drawer I love that that's like the best thing this is just a standard normal box so but it has nice embossing of Louis Vuitton or Christian Louis Vuitton well I'm gonna get that messed up all the time all right PS I picked up the shoes from the store because they had to order them so this is the first time I'm actually looking at them because uh, they didn't have this one particular model I tried on the regular uh, spike flats and uh, these are the Yang ones so a little different I've never seen them in real life but dude Pictures don't do this shoe justice. Anyway, standard affair, I guess, as the presentation. You got a little sack right here. Very nice Christmas looking color with some extra laces. Hopefully, sounds like a, a set of laces, whatever. Oh yeah, and she said that they do come with extra spizikes. So that's kind of cool, interesting. Oh, and they're multicolored too, so that's also very great. See, gold ones, not just the black ones. Away. Apparently you need a cobbler. Uh, if the ten of your spikes fall off, cobbler's the way it goes. Alright, so here we go. Like I said, this is my first time looking at them too, so I'm I'm just as excited as you. Comes in a nice little bag, feels very cottony. Uh, looks linty, but I don't know. But decent. At least there's two. Drawstring's a little meh. It's okay. It's, listen, it's just a dust bag. Not a big deal. It's all about the shoe in question, which is this. Oh, baby. All right, let me just take a quick look myself. Hold on, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the dust bag does leave it a little linty. So here you go, a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. Uh, interesting enough, they don't really reflect as much as I thought they would. Uh, the spikes, I could have sworn they were more, more glittery than, than how they're looking here. Because I remember when I saw them in person, they were, they were like diamonds dancing. And here's the gold side right there. All right, so as with any uh, Christian Louboutin shoe, it's all leather all over the place. Yep, oh, reeks of leather. Very good leather and a little little nose grease. Nothing wrong with that. No one, nothing that ever kills you. And it has the signature red soles. Now, what I've heard from these two also is that they are not uh, just like red, like lacquered, like like the women's shoes. Apparently, these are actually red uh, rubber. So as you wear them, you know they will still stay red, just like that. As long as you keep them clean and stuff like that, you should still have that nice vivid red look to them. So anytime you know people are watching the bottom of your feet, they'll know. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. But we don't do it just for the red bottom. We do it because of the individuality of the shoe. These shoes are I don't know. If you ever held a pair of uh, Christian Louboutins before, uh, comparing them to, like, let's say Gucci or Louis Vuitton, that's uh, usually the, the brands that I normally wear, uh, these are actually a super duper quality. I don't know, it's just something about the heft to them, the look to them, the feel. It's just, uh, it's just very, very nice. And also, every single one of these uh, spikes that they have, as you can see, they're actually, uh, I guess, installed by hand. Now they're not just glued on or taped on or pressed on or whatever the case may be, they're actually screwed on. So that is why you need, a, I guess, a cobbler to uh, you know, reassert them if they fall off or anything like that. Which I'm hoping they don't because uh, 
That'd be a shame if one fell off. I'd be very upset. But you do have the extra ones in the little bag over here, just in case if something like that were to arise. So you just bring it in. Hopefully they'll be able to fix it. Let's see. It's got a lot of tissue. A whole mess of tissue. And it appears that every Louis Vuitton uh, shoe on the inside has this uh, just regular, like, I don't know what you call this, beige leather, just like a real leather look not like it's not colored or anything like that so I guess that's kind of an interesting uh, interesting thing right there usually shoes on the inside are probably colored in some extent these are just always natural like this so that's kind of cool these are size 42 which is apparently a size 9 what is this okay sorry these are a size 9 uh, I actually when I went to the store I, I figured I was a nine and a half and that's usually the size that I normally get so that'd be 42.5 but these actually uh, fit uh, rather well so if you are I guess they still fit true to size it's just that this this size 9 fits fits really good usually size 9s fit a little like snugger than you than you want these fit perfect and now if you ever wanted to get a pair of these but you're always worried that the spikes right here are actually gonna be like very discomforting and just like just not up your alley especially if you wear them you're gonna feel like the the, the things going in you no you don't um, when I tried them on at the store, they actually, you don't really feel it at all. There's an actual uh, decent thick layer of leather and padding uh, between you and the spikes. So I don't, like even when I go like this, I don't feel anything. It feels like there's nothing there. It's just like a flat surface. You get what I mean? So it's just, uh, it's just remarkable that the craftsmanship is that superior. Than, I mean, you just would think that you'd feel them like everywhere. And it'd just be like every step is like, oh my god, it's clawing into my foot. But you don't feel anything. The, the padding in here is, is superb. That's another reason why I was saying Louboutin shoes are like, the quality is way up there. I mean, you're paying uh, 1000 over over $1,000 for a pair of shoes. So uh, you would hope that they would actually, you know, have a good comfort and good fit and feel. And they actually do. So, and this is the difference between, uh, I guess, the normal flats versus the Yang. It's going to have the yin and yang kind of a deal. I have no idea why, but that's just what they say. Well, I mean, at least for me. So, but this is what kind of set it apart as opposed to it being all black on either side. It has the gold on this inside with like kind of like a snake look to it. I don't know if you can actually witness that perfectly or not. I'm trying to show it for the camera. Can the camera see? But that's the reason why I got these was because the normal all black, I mean, they're, they're nice and everything like that, but I kind of want something a little more, a little more pizzazz. I mean, every shoe that I have has some type of like pizzazz to it. They're never just like too, too basic or too, too plain. There's always something in there that sets it apart. So, and this definitely caught my eye when I was at the store. I was just like, oh my God, those are, those are lovely. They didn't have this exact model, like I said, but uh, they did have one that did have the gold and everything. Well, they had the white ones. The white ones are actually all white. And then this, as opposed to being uh, gold, it is actually like a silver, silver look. And they look just phenomenal. I was like, all right, let me get them black ones. She's like, oh, I don't have them here. Let me order them. They'll be here tomorrow. And I was like, right on. Because if you order from the website, it takes quite some time to get them. And I didn't want to wait around all day for that. So might as well just go to a store and get them if you can. And yeah, these don't look like they've actually been previously tried on. At least I don't think. I hope not. Because I'm sort of a stickler when it comes to getting shoes. Like I don't want shoes that people have been wearing and trying on and walking around in for, for days, weeks on end. You know? It's just it's just not that's not my cup of tea, homie. Not my cup of tea. But these shoes are actually, believe it or not, they're really, really nice. Uh, I don't know what this what you'd call this right here, but this seems to be like a signature thing for every Louboutin men's shoe. It has this little like uh, folded in crease to for the leather. I'm not sure why they do it. I don't know how they do it. But it gives it it gives it a nice subtle subtle uh, look and a little flair as opposed to just being just completely straight leather back here and just nothing else. So and if you can see, it has like a little like wine hourglass shape right here. I don't know, sort of like a Hennessy bottle, if you will. So that's a good way to tell if you know you got a nice quality shoe right there. It's just like it has a nice bubble and comes in, fits into your I guess ankle is this called? Yeah, ankle right here. This is your heel, your ankle coming up. So it should bow in a little bit, and it does. Has a little tab right here so you can pull it up. Uh, oddly enough, these are uh, made in Europe or Italy. It even says made in UE. So it's somewhere in Europe, right? Can you see this? Can you make sure the camera gets this? I don't know if I can. 
Come on, camera. Work. Work with me. Well, I'm sure you could possibly see. Anyway, it says EU right here. Sorry for the blurriness if it's blurry. I can't really, can't really tell. All right. Uh, anyway, so back to my original point is that they're made in Europe. However, the laces are just regular style laces. Uh, I was hoping for, you know, the, the European one over, 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 over like that. And this one is just straight across like that. But it's just a normal lacing. I don't know why they do that. Not quite sure. But I probably will end up changing that. Inside the box, what else we got? Oh yes, we got the other shoe. So yeah, make sure both shoes actually match. Yes, they do. Let's see if we can actually place these next to each other. Uh, okay. Interesting enough, it's weird that the that the black spikes are not really popping out as much as I was uh, hoping they would. Because when I was at the store, dude, they were like. Just dancing all over the place. It was just uh, had a had a good light play. Looks a good source of a uh, light reflection. And these uh, right now, I don't know why. Not not so much. Uh, a little disappointing because that was like kind of uh, a really big reason why I wanted to get them is because they kind of had like a certain sheen to them. But then again, most of your sheen is over here anyway, so uh, it actually works out just fine. I rather have it like subtle over here, and then party disco time over here. <laughs> So, let me see if I can put these in a decent way. Well, let me just hold them, I guess. Hold them like this. Sorry, my camera is in like an odd, odd way. It's on a chair and I'm on the floor. I'm kneeling like a son of a bitch. Yeah, that's weird how they're, how they're laced like that. I don't know why they're laced like that. Kind of. And they're fat laces too, believe it or not. They're actually fatter than the normal, I think. They feel, they look a little fatter than the normal laces that you normally get on other shoes. I should probably grab another shoe just to show you, but they are just slightly bit fatter, which kind of, hmm, I don't know, it depends on what your taste is for, for laces. Me, I don't like fatter laces, I like them skinnier. But this gold right here, like I said, sets it apart. This is what it looks like from the back. Can you see? So still pretty Pretty subtle, not too crazy, not too out of this world. Just, just enough pizzazz, you know, as if the red bottom wasn't enough. But the gold on the inside, right there, just really, definitely sets it apart. I'm super glad they didn't put on the outside in it. It wouldn't make the shoe what it is if it was the gold was on the outside. Uh, for me personally, I like it on the inside. So it's like, if someone's looking at you, they can't really see unless they're they're really looking. You get what I mean? Or if they're on the side and you're walking like this. See what I mean? And that's just, just enough, just enough to be like, hey, watch out now. And you have your customary Louboutin, or is it Louboutin? Yes, Louboutin insignia right here that seems every shoe seems to have. I wish they made these in a low top version. That would be phenomenal. They do, it's just they have zero spikes. And if you're going to get a shoe like this, kind of go with the spikes because like, hey, why not? Oh, you can touch the spikes. Yeah, they don't hurt you. They're not that bad. They're not, they're not killing me. They're actually, uh, let's see, round it off just enough that it doesn't, it won't hurt you. And like I said, when I wore them, they, you don't feel the spikes at all on the sides whatsoever. So that was like a, a, a big draw for me was that a, the comfort of these shoes are actually very, very top notch. Bring balance to your wardrobe with the Yang Lewis. Contrasting, contrasting classic black with luminous gold embossed Dino Laminato, I guess, leather. The iconic high top is finished with an all over embellishment of signature engraved spikes. Signature engraved? Where the funk is that? Signature engraved? I don't see that anywhere, but okay, I guess that's what they claim. But here they are. This is what they look like. This, like I said, is a size 42. I'm usually a size 42.5, I would guess, but I've never bought a pair of these before, so I guess I'm a size 42 for these. And they fit lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, real quick, because uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you might know or remember that I hate leather soles. And these soles actually do come right out. Yeah. So that is a good thing. And they have the signature, actually, huh, interesting. 
It follows suit exactly to the bottom of the red of the shoe. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, but I'll pop those out and I will try to probably fit some new ones in. Whoa. I don't know if you can see on the inside. That's basically what they look like on the inside without the sole. And this is what the sole looks like. Ta-da. It is. Uh, real quick thing on the sole, or uh, insole, excuse me. Pretty thick, pretty good, decent quality, not the best, definitely not the worst. So maybe I can put some like leather stuff on it and make it, actually the thing is though, they don't feel that, that slippery though. I, I think they will be though, that's not good. So yeah, I'll probably end up taking those out, so we'll see. But anyway, here is a quick look. Uh, now, if you're interested, uh, there actually is another guy, oh my god, I'll probably put the link in the description, I believe his name is Alex. The guy is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to uh, Louboutin and actually any designer that you're probably thinking of buying shoes from, Balenciaga or Prada or who knows, you name it, I think that dude actually has had like pretty much every designer's uh, shoe imaginable, so he is actually a great great source of information if you're looking to uh, you know compare and contrast uh, me I just stick to a couple brands here and there and I give you my quick synopsis he he's he's more he's more traveled more well versed if you will and you know you look at his pictures seems like he might be kind of pretentious and whatnot no he's a great guy R really great guy I've seen a lot of his videos so uh, kudos to that guy his name is Alex I believe I'll put the link in the description uh, for his uh, review of these because he'll he can tell you better than I can about how uh, how these uh, shoes work or at least how they fit and feel and stuff like that and wearability and durability so there you go one more quick look at the Christian Louboutin Yang Louis Flats coming at ya ow PS if you like the video please subscribe hit the thumbs up hit the thumbs down because apparently people can do that that's all I got. My name is Emilio. Enjoy the rest of your day.